What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Monster Bass channel. My name is Paul from Burley Fishing and I'm here today to talk through a bag that I just got in the mail. Fresh out the mail. Uh, did a little fishing, saw this bad boy come out and I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a walkthrough. Now these are not in the box. I should probably be more careful how I open these up. <laughs> I don't want to poke a hole in my bag. So as always, we're no longer getting boxed. We're getting this awesome bag, which is reusable. I actually have a ton of them right here. And I jam these things full for when I'm fishing in my kayak. I suggest you do the same. So before I get into all the awesome stuff that's in the May bag, I just wanna say thank you for stopping by the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for hopefully liking, subscribing, smashing the like button, ring the notification bell, all that stuff. Uh, so, you can be, so you can see when we post more content and so you come hang out with us. If you're enjoying this video and you've already subscribed to the Monster Bass channel, please consider checking out the Burley Fishing channel. We've got live shows, we've got videos, we've got gear reviews, unboxings, all the same kind of goodies. So, what's in the bag? Your card with all your awesome MB people, including Fishing Grubs. Check that out. Dude's an awesome time. We had him on one of our Burley Fishing live streams. Phenomenal guest. Definitely check him out. For watching the live streams, uh, you get a golden ticket and this enables you to potentially win something as you're watching the live stream. So they go through and I think they pick one of these codes and they announce and say, hey, so-and-so, if this is you, you won a prize. So uh, go watch the show, go check the live stream out. They've had awesome people too. I think they just had Alex Rudd uh, with Z-Man. They have all kinds of awesome guests and now more chances for you to win more stuff. Go check that out as well. Sweet stickers, always gotta get the stickers. Now that we've got all that out of the way, let's get down to the baits. All right, so first up, we have the Mustad Scatter Shad. Now this thing is, it's basically a bladed jig. Now what makes it a little bit unique, other than the fact that it's made by Mustad, which is kind of like a, known for being like a hook company. So you can see, it's kind of a, it's a really nice skirt. And, and the, honestly, it looks all silver, right? It looks like it's all silver. The crazy thing is, is once you get this wet and you get it in the water, I can speak to this because I fished it a couple times. And once I got this wet, you actually start picking up like an iridescent kind of like a purpley green on the bottom of the skirt fantastic color and it really pops once it gets wet the other thing that you're going to see here is a weed guard so you rig up your bait and then you drop that weed guard on it like so and what you're going to start to see is you're getting a lot more uh you know one of the biggest kind of complaints on bladed jigs is that you're always getting hooked up on wood that little bit of a weed guard should keep you out of the weeds and potentially keep you a little bit more out of the wood as well. Now what makes this really unique is that the way it's attached, the way the jig head is attached to the blade. So you actually have the ability to spin completely around 360. That makes this a little bit unique. Uh, it also has these two holes uh, inside the blade. I haven't seen that before. Um, otherwise, hookups the same uh, and the way that it's supposed to work, you know, shuttering back and forth as you retrieve it, also the same. Now, it does have my favorite kind of hook holders these two reverse hooks that is my favorite kind of hook holder unless you're working with a really soft plastic that thing is going to keep you uh keep your plastic trailer on like forever and ever amen now one of the things that i did have a little bit of trouble with when i first started fishing this i think it's because of this twist right here this ability for it to go 360 i had a lot of line twist now the way that i kind of found to get around that is to you know after you first cast it out give it one really hard hook set right it's like like almost like set the bait right when you first start and give it a little set a little bit of a jerk and what's going to happen is i think you're going to see this thing straighten itself out and then you start it starts shuddering and you'll see that vibration on the rod tip exactly like you should um how do you rig this up what's a good way to use this there's almost no wrong way to use this and there's actually some baits weird in this bag that work really really well as trailers i think anything paddle tail uh even a fluke Maybe we'll get to that shortly. Um, and creature baits, uh, even like a craw, anything like that is gonna work really, really well on here. I would stick to like whites, silvers, and natural colors for this because it's gonna match really well with your bait. And that is the scatter shad. All right, next up we have the Lunker Candy 3 8 ounce spinner bait in white and chartreuse. You can't go wrong with white chartreuse. I mean, it, it works like almost all year, no matter what, on almost every single body of water. There's a really no situation this is not going to be a good setup for you, which is great. Three, it sounds like it's a perfect weight. It's kind of that mid weight. Uh, there's not a lot of setups that this won't work pretty well on. Anything medium heavy is going to do really well. It also has these hammered blades, and that is going to give you something a little bit different thump than you've got almost anywhere else. I feel like this, uh, you know, small to medium size blade combination of Colorado and uh, willow leaf is 
like a stock standard. This right here uh, is gonna is gonna fish really well in almost any kind of water. The other thing that's really nice about this is that it's hand tied. So you're gonna see here, instead of like one of these little rubber skirt holders that just sort of like disintegrates after a season of sitting out in the sun, this one, I'm not sure how we're gonna be able to see it, it's actually tied in by hand. That is like my favorite way to have these attached. It is so much more durable uh, and just gonna last a heck of a lot longer. So that is a huge win for me. Again, as far as trailers, you really can't go wrong. Flukes, paddle tails, a uh, little bit shorter creatures, and any kind of craw is gonna do really well. And again, with the chartreuse and black, there's really not a lot, you can't, there's, there's no way to screw it up. White, black, silver, uh, natural, almost anything is gonna do really well on the chartreuse, uh, even like a green pumpkin is gonna do just fine uh, with this as a trailer. So depending on which box you got and which region of the country you're in, you may have gotten a couple of different baits um, when it comes to this one. I'm in the Great Lakes region, so I got the uh, Monster Bass Hammerhead uh, square bill. This is not the Alex Rudd silent square bill. This one is not silent at all. This is a two and three quarter inch, two and three quarter inch, uh, one third ounce square bill. Green and red color pattern. It's got the red treble hook. If a bass sees this, it's thinking, mm, wounded fish, and that's exactly what it's gonna target. So that's the red kind of helps paint a target on this square bill for you. Now, again, I said this is not the Alex Rudd. The Alex Rudd uh, square bill is a silent square bill. This one, not silent, and I think that's great. This is gonna work for you all year long. This one is gonna dive down a couple of feet. It does come with those Katana hooks, super sharp. It's a great square bill, and it's a really cool color pattern, one that you don't see very often. All right, so let's talk plastics. The Big Bite Baits, the Big Bite Baits Kamikaze Swim On in smoky gold. That is awesome. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. This is one of my favorite baits from Big Bite Baits. This is without a doubt one of the better trailers on the market for things like bladed jigs or maybe even spinner baits. <laughs> um, look at this tail. It's tons of action. This rib portion right here is going to make sure that as this bait is shuddering, this thing is just going to go bananas. Uh, you also have, just to give it a little bit of extra, um, you've got these really slight, uh, really slight appendages here at the back. These are actually going to be going back and forth like so, hence the name, swim on. Um, and then this body, very durable. The rib is going to create all that extra push and a bunch of extra water, making a bunch of extra vibration. So again, this is like a perfect trailer bait. I'm going to go ahead and put one on both the um, Mustad, uh, shutter shad and I'm going to go ahead and put another one and show show you how it looks like on that spinnerbait. So let's see what that looks like. Now you can't tell me that that is not a perfect combination. Again, you're just this is we're all within the confines of the bag. I have yet to break anything else out outside of the bag. That is a sweet combo. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing with that bladed jig. Again, this is that mustad scatter shad and look at that. That is that is awesome. You're gonna get, as this thing shutters back and forth, you're getting a fantastic amount of action coming out the back of this trailer. And as you can see, we talked about silvers, whites, blacks, uh, natural presentations. Look at that combo. Matches perfectly. Last and certainly not least, we have what is basically a phenomenal combo. You've got the X-Zone Pro Series Swammer in four inch. This is a great drop shot bait. And no, what would go great with a drop shot bait? A drop shot hook. Um, this is the standout hook. This is a phenomenal cheat code for you if you like or if you have never fished a drop shot before. Talk about a color combo. You're getting this like green pumpkin uh, to white slash clear belly. And you can see it's flat on bottom. This thing is gonna just be dancing as it sits vertically or horizontally in the water. Um, and then you get this awesome tail that's just doing all the work for you. Um, out to a great, uh, nice, medium, kind of a medium sized profile for a drop shot. And then you can see all that gold and purple fleck is really showing up nicely inside of that bait. All right, so the idea behind the standout hook is that you can foolproof your drop shots and that this little eye right down here is actually creating some tension and it's holding your drop shot hook up, hook point up exactly how you want it to be, but it's also supporting heavier baits. So when you get like a four inch, Swam, like four inch like the swammer, right? It's a little bit of a larger profile bait. When you get a little larger profile bait, it actually can hold it up there so it's presented away from your main line just perfectly so that when fish come and bite it, they're not sensing that main line and they can smack only the hook and the bait. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to rig up the swammer. The traditional method is just to nose hook it. And what that means is you're just gonna take through the nose of the bait, you're just gonna go ahead and pop it through just like that. And that is the entire thing. So you get a little weight on there, 
then you get you get a little current and that thing's gonna be dancing around like crazy that's sort of your traditional method now what you'll find is especially in like the heat of the summer you may start getting short struck right they're only biting the tail so they're not inhaling the whole bait it's also a little bit of a larger presentation right so maybe they're not in it to win it and they're not taking the whole thing undo what you just did and then go ahead and thread this on all the way through flip your bait upside down go ahead and jam this all the way through now go in a little bit and just you're just going to thread your bait on like that back it off a hair now look at this now you've got your hook point is now moved back in the bait and now you're gonna get short struck less. It's not gonna fix everything, but it's a really cool treat. Uh, it's a little bit of a cheat code to try and make sure that when you get those bites, you're gonna actually catch more fish. Now, another bait you may have seen, depending on what region you're in, is this one right here, which came in another one of my bags. That is the Deep Creek Lures Carolina Shad in uh, watermelon candy. I actually had this one rigged up in kind of a different way uh, than I've ever fished before. Now the way I had this rigged up earlier today, it's what's called the donkey rig. Now it's kind of like, it's basically a double fluke. So what you have is um, your main line over here, which is like my rods to my, like on this side of my, on this side of the room over here, you have a free moving, uh, a free moving rig. Now I rigged this up just like you pretty much rig any other fluke. This is a straight tail fluke. It's pretty big, it's probably four inches or so. And I've just done it weedless, right? Uh, with a EWG, an extra wide gap hook. Um, pretty basic. Now this, the color on this is great. It's a light green, um, a very translucent um, with some purple uh, and green fleck. And there's a couple of different color purples in here and it really gives it like a 3D look. When this gets wet, like once you get this in the water, it basically glows. It's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, you've got on a, on a swivel right here, you've got this free flown on your main line. Now as a stopper, you've got another swivel, and then you just have another EWG with, a, with another fluke on it. You can run these as basically um, like a twitch twitch pause, just like you would run a jerk bait. This is, it is phenomenally effective. I, I honestly, I thought I was gonna get twisted up the entirety of the time that I was fishing this. I figured I would just be untangling these the whole time. I never got tangled up once. Right now, if bass are bedded up by you, this is a phenomenal option because you can just drop this and let it sink right to the bottom and just let it sit there and it's gonna look so juicy. And you can twitch, twitch, pause right in the fish's face really, really slow and it is just going to tick fish off, which is a great way to get them to bite while they're on beds. And another bit you may have seen, depending again on what region you're in, is the uh, the Matt Crasher Frog from Raptor Lures. Um, this is just like sort of a great frog. I was, I was not sure what I was gonna get uh, when I popped it open, hadn't heard of him before. Uh, but when I popped this bad boy open, what I saw was pretty plush frog. Not so soft that it's gonna get hooked up on everything, but it definitely is soft. Looks like some pretty darn sharp hooks. Uh, weight in the back to kind of sit the frog up, right? So you can see the weight right back there, that white circle. Um, that's keeping the frog sitting up like this so that you can pull it through cover really easily. Um, feels like it's gonna be pretty durable. And uh, you know, overall, like white belly frog, like you can't beat that dark bottom. I'm not upset at all. Another bait that you might be seeing is this uh, RC series. That's the Rick Clun, Rick Clun Classic. Um, it's called the Hail Mary. So this is sort of like a non-traditional take on a lipless. It is, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's big. Look at the size of that, holy smokes. Um, and you can see just the profile, very different than kind of your traditional lipless, but also, you know, kind of similar. Um, big old treble hooks. This thing has weight to it. What's the weight on this? Three quarter ounce is the weight. So yeah, let's give that a listen. Not quiet, not subtle. Um, this is going to tick some fish off. Kind of a cool color, a uh, little bit translucent. You may be able to see me through that bait. Um, you can definitely see the ball bearings rattling around in there. There are three of them. They are gigantic. Um, but yeah, kind of a tapered body. It it <laughs> rigged on top. So I'm assuming you can jig this. <clears throat> I'm assuming you can essentially run it any way that you would run a lipless. It is totally different though. This thing is going to sink quick. It's going to be super loud and hopefully it's going to bring some fish in. Again, haven't had a chance to fish this one yet. It's not really that time of year for me, um, but I do plan on grabbing a pretty heavy stick and, and giving it a chuck. So that was a really quick and dirty run through on what's in the May bag. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you got a couple of rigging ideas and options and ways that you can kind of use everything that's in the bag to uh, catch some giants. 
If this is your first time stopping by the channel, again, let me just say thank you so much for being here, for watching this video, for smashing the like button, for ringing the notification bell so you can see when we post more content, and also for checking out the Burley Fishing channel. We do a lot of uh, unboxings, gear reviews, we got a live stream podcast, the whole bit, so please come and check out Burley Fishing as well. And with that, again, I hope this helped you out, and I really, really hope that you get out there with this bag and you go catch your PB. Appreciate it. Oh, and wait, if you like swag, we got new swag on the website. Go check that out as well. Good luck catching some giants, and I hope you do it with this bag.